Hello, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today where I'm going to be doing an everyday carry video, something I've never done before, basically showing you what I take around with me on an average day to day. So in this video, I'm going to have information of the products that you'll see in the video during the video, showing you the retail price. Now, for most of these products, I did not pay retail price. I just simply cannot remember the price I actually paid. So I'm just going to have the retail price instead. But that's going to hopefully help you if you want to buy any of these products you see. You'll have a rough idea how much they cost and where to get them. So now let's jump into the video. Now before I jump fully into the video and bring out the first products of the video, would you take just a moment to subscribe to the channel please, as it would really help out the channel reach the goal of a thousand subscribers. So now the first item on the video list is this, a wallet. So something every gentleman should own is a lovely wallet. So this is a full grain mulberry tanned leather wallet and I've owned this for about a year and it's taken quite the beating as I'm sure you can see in the video. Um, it's actually really nice though, I really do like this wallet, it's quite sleek, slender, it has no pocket though for change, so um, yeah, it's cash only really with this, so um, yeah, it's really nice though, I really do like it, I've worn this or taken this with me basically everywhere I go for the last year, and I just think this thing holds up really well, it smells amazing actually, and it just is quite slender, even though I've got it packed full of cards, yeah, really cool, nice to have. The next thing is actually something very simple and this is Thunderball, a James Bond novel by Ian Fleming and it's just a book. I like reading books when I'm out and about and yeah this is the current book I'm reading. Um, I'm probably only 30-40 pages in and um, yeah I'm really enjoying it. I've just finished Casino Royale so moving on to Thunderball now and I love Sean Connery in the film so I'm hoping to love the book as well. Okay, up next is something I believe everyone should own if they wear sunglasses regularly, which is a great pair of sunglasses. These are Oakley Customs, and um, I don't think I've even shown them on the channel before. I've basically worn these for three years straight, and they've taken a little bit of a, a beating, but I believe they are so worth the money. And if you're wearing sunglasses a lot like I am, then they're just really great value for money. They feel amazing every time you put them on. They just perform well. They hug the face nicely, and they look great. So... Yeah, if you're going to buy some sunglasses, then just, just buy a nice pair. Don't even bother messing around with cheap pairs like you do on Amazon and stuff. Just get a nice pair straight off the bat. And the next thing I'm going to show you is also a pair of sunglasses. So let me put these ones away and bring out the next pair. So here's the next pair of sunglasses. I'm sure you're more than familiar with these as I've worn them so many times on the channel. These are my Ray-Bans. So... I really like these, they're not as well built and they're not as expensive as the Oakleys but they are really nice regardless, they really do fit the face lovely, they've got a plastic frame similar to the uh, Oakleys but yeah they are really nice. I don't feel like the UV protection is as strong to be honest and the polarisation isn't as strong as the Oakleys so the lenses are maybe not as good but overall fantastic value for money and they look great, I really do love them. So I know you probably expected this to be the first item on the list, but I thought I'd save it for a mid-video, and that is my watch. This is my Omega Aquaterra, and I've absolutely loved owning this watch, basically since I've gotten it. I've worn this actually a lot, so the reason I've got this watch and not some of my other watches out as my daily wearer is because this is what I've been wearing today, so I thought it'd just be appropriate to have this in the video. I really love it. I've got this on this quite cheap, kind of crappy leather strap at the moment, but... Yeah, it does look great. I really like mixing up the straps on this watch. It's just a minimalistic watch, 38 millimeters, 12.4 millimeters thick, I believe. And it just wears amazingly. So yeah, that's gonna be my daily wearer really is my Aquaterra, but I do mix it up quite a lot. So up next is something quite basic and boring, and that is my Audi A4 car key. I have it on a keychain with a few accessories, but not really much. This is a corkscrew opener, which I've never used. Um, this is my Rip Curl uh, surfboard, just a little accessory, and I have it with a just a normal house key and a bottle opener, which I use fairly frequently. And the lanyard it's attached to is something I wouldn't really generally go for, and that is a Supreme lanyard. Now the reason I went for this is actually because it's just the best I could find. I've went through so many lanyards trying to find a really nice lanyard, and this is actually the best one I could find. So. I tried to get it in a discreet colour because I'm not really a Supreme fan, so yeah, it's just the best quality I could find and that's the reason I've got it. So up next is something quite small but something I use every day and that is my Sennheiser True Wireless Headphones. 
These are really lovely. I wouldn't I wouldn't really know what to do without them, to be honest. I use them basically every day. And um, they're magnetic to get in, really nice and simple. I love the sound of the case closing. They feel like they're really well built and um, yeah, they just they work really well. They have great battery life and I'd recommend them, I really would. So up next is something I don't really have a lot to speak about and that is my stainless steel brushed Zippo lighter. Now the reason I have this is not because I smoke, but instead whenever I'm out, people ask me for a light. So I like the sound and the feel of it and uh, I can always offer someone a light. So that's the reason I have it. So this is just a very simple off Amazon variable torch. It's got a decent output and I like to keep it around because it's super compact and it does a decent job of illuminating better than a phone would. So um, yeah, it's just a really basic thing, just a torch. So up next is something I don't have on me all the time, but if I have a backpack, I'll almost certainly have it. And that is my GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition. So this is just if I ever have a water shot that I need to capture or if I'm out and about and I want to get a bit rough with the camera, then this is exactly what it's for. It's uh, an action cam at the end of the day and it does a decent job of capturing some quite good film. Now this is quite a boring thing to cover, but it's my phone. So this is an iPhone 11. It has a glass screen protector, which is cracked. And it also has two front cameras as well as a rear facing camera. It has 128 gigs of storage and I've used basically all of that up. Uh, it does a decent job of taking photos. It's nothing even remotely exceptional, but it's the best camera I have on me most of the time. So yeah, it's a decent phone to have. Um, I hopefully we'll get an upgrade in the next couple years, but we'll see how that goes. That's my phone. So next on the list is a two-parter. It's just very simple. I have a notebook, which I get a new one each year. As you can see, this is the 2023 one. And I just use it to record notes whenever I'm out and about if I want to keep something on me. And the other thing is a pen to write in the notebook, which is a Mont Blanc uh, plastic pen. It's quite nice. It's really thin, which is what I wanted. It's a ballpoint pen, not a fountain pen. And yeah, it's great to have out and about. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. It's got a nice clip on it and it works well. Now, the last thing on this list is something very simple. And it's something I've seen in the video already. If you haven't noticed it already, it's my ring. This is a titanium ring. Um, I love wearing this about because it's super light and it's really anti-corrosive. So I don't have to worry about it. So that's really basically all there is. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I really have just made it quite a short and sweet video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more like this in the future, make sure to leave a like and a comment saying so. That's this video. Goodbye.